Right, so we have our cable up motor set up. It's plugged into the um, DCC and we've wired in the frog. So next thing we need to do is to actually uh, program it. On the back of these connectors, you see it just there, got a little switch. So to program, uh, push that switch down. Okay, and then get your controller. So here I'm using a NC, sorry, NCE power cap. Um, all I need to do on this is select accessory and type in the number for the next one that you want to program. This is going to be number five. So my numbering system for this side of the layout is going to be start with a one and the upper level for the O gauge will start for two. So I've got one, two, three, four, <coughs> four of these motors in at the moment. So this will be the fifth one, which will go in, you can see on here, around about here, to bring a side in and the bay platform around. So um, type in the next number, one, zero, five, press enter. That's it. Um, it's asking you whether you want to open or close the point. You don't really need to on this, so you can press either one or two because it won't do anything. Press one and it goes back to zero. Uh, but that's a normal display. Now, uh, when you come to actually want to uh, activate the point motor and get it to turn, put it there so you can see. Um, select accessory again. It remembers the last one that you used, one in five. Press enter and then select one or two. And it didn't work. So why didn't it work? Okay, let's try that again and do it two this time. No, no. So we've got problems somewhere. Possibly it's to do. Basically, I jerry rigged it together so that um, I could test it before I put it into uh, the baseboard. So let me just check to make sure we've got the wires cut it correctly. Not mixed up, no. Right, let's just screw it right there. Let's have a look. That's right. Correct. Just making sure that I've not screwed down on a insulator or something like that. And let me go back to the DCC bus, which they do. The reason I'm checking is because I've got some that are not used at the moment because I've <coughs> redone the track. And basically I've raised up the, the level of the board. So I'm in the process of redoing the track, hence why the um, track's going back down again and the point motors are being installed. Let's have a look and see if it'll work now. No. Okay. We have nothing. Let's put that the other way. Just gonna reset power. Shouldn't have caused any issues, but let's have a look. Wait for it to boot up. Oh, I know what I've done. <laughs> what you need to do is the switch you need to put it back up again <laughs> otherwise it's going to stay in program mode right here we go so we'll try again select accessory uh, 105 because i've turned it off it won't remember the last one press enter and then one or two there you go it's working now so just remember that once you've programmed it you need to put the switch back in the normal position um, we'll try the other position on the motor, and there you go, it moves back across. What I'll do is I'll try and do it so that you can see it working. If I hold that like that. There you go.
and there you go, it's done. Simple as that. Uh, obviously, you won't make the mistake that I did, uh, especially if you watch this video. Um, and uh, you'll find it um, easier than it looks. Right. right, that's it for this video. I'll do another one a little bit uh, about um, potential problems that you may, ha you may find um, with these. Until then, see you later.